however limited backup systems which can be a problem if you somehow erase all your databases and it gets um, if your system gets hacked there is limited privacy I mean there's more privacy because okay okay stop I think it's, it's clearer if you just state your opinion okay. and then give reasons for to support your opinion okay. so which one better in my opinion in my opinion I think uh, migrating your databases to a cloud server if you say my in my opinion don't say I think anymore I'll be sure, yeah? In my opinion? Huh? In my opinion, uh, migrating ser your databases to a cloud server is much better than using a home server system. Ah. Um, firstly, this is because um, it is easy to, to synchronize uh, your files and your service with, let's say, you have another branch of company. You have another branch in another country, or you want to um, synergize your files with a partner company, to and you can also work on things at the same time. Let's say you're doing a, a project, and you don't want to keep sending files to each other through cloud. This system is much more um, simpler mm -hmm. and doesn't require complex. Uh, complex maintenance which home service you can recreate this this system but it is very but but <laughs> it is very expensive to maintain and you require constant IT support all the time mm -hmm. which is an additional cost for your company in all the locations uh -huh. so, secondly this is because continue this is because this is because um, all your Branches and sites. All your branches and sites will will need to be connected. Will need to be connected through lease lines. Through lease lines. Yeah, so which is ex expensive. Exceptionally yeah. very expensive for multinational companies. Yes. Secondly, um, cloud com. Secondly, um, cloud computing systems are useful. Because, because hmm. <laughs> you don't need a computer repairman. You don't. You don't need a computer repairman all the time. What <laughs> <laughs> a computer repairman! What a computer repairman! You can uh, outsource your computer maintenance tasks uh, to a third company, uh, a third party company, or to the cloud company. Or to the cloud company itself. Ah, uh, they will maintain. Yeah. Which will maintain your service and keep it at a very low cost. <coughs> and uh, thirdly, thirdly. Uh, there is always memory in cloud that even if your, <coughs> your systems get hacked, even if your files get erased by an angry employee, you can always recover them. <laughs> angry employee? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can always recover them because they are stored in a worldwide cloud base. And compared to developing these technologies ourselves, cloud com Cloud computing companies have been working on this idea for a long time. Uh. So their ideas will be much more complex and also easy to use compared to learning how to use um, um, compared to learning how to use local servers, which are most of the time require training to use because they are quite complex. They require lots of logins. They require yeah. lots of security. It will require. It will require a full. A full IT department. IT department dedicated to just maintaining your local servers. If you migrate to the cloud. If you migrate to the cloud. You don't need an IT department. You do not need an IT department. Just occasional maintenance, which every admin and clerk can learn to use quite easily. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I believe that I strongly believe I strongly believe that using cloud computing systems is a much better option compared to local home servers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh.